What's up, League fam, and welcome to another YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this kind of stuff, then please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification button so you know whenever new content comes out. Today, I've got something a little bit different. I'm playing Akali in the mid lane, um, and really, I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of nervous about uh going over this one because uh my, let's just say my mechanics aren't the greatest and uh kali is a champ that i love playing i used to play play a, a kali a lot before her rework but since her rework i've stayed away because i know they've i don't like touching champs that riot um you know messes around a lot with like so kali obviously has you know since her rework has been nerfed and messed with so many different times they've changed her up and that's just too many changes for with me to to handle that's another reason why i don't really play jungle either because um jungle always gets messed with you guys know that um so anyways with that said, uh, I am playing Akali here because I do want, I wanted to try something different. So, um, Akali is, uh, you know, the most popular rune at the moment is, uh, Conqueror, uh, and sometimes Fleet Footwork if you need help with your landing phase, but usually it's Conqueror and you become kind of the split pushing, uh, side lane pushing, uh, beast who can sustain really well and do a lot of damage. Um, However, I was watching a video where somebody was being coached uh, and they were coaching a gold Akali player and something kind of struck to me and he was just saying that um, I believe the, the coach was Fast Scripter. He also has a uh, YouTube channel, but uh, he was just saying that, you know, in this ELO, like, why not go electrocute because... Um, most of the times in this ELO, people don't utilize split pushing well anyways. And so... Um, a lot of times you can't take full advantage of uh, using a Kali in that way. Whereas uh, you could be more of an impact if you just went straight damage, uh, like you know, some, going with something with like Electrocute uh, and making an impact that way. So I wanted to try it out uh, either way because I do feel like you know you could just do a ton of damage uh, with a Kali, and I personally do like playing her Glass Cannon. That was. How I played her pre rework was just full glass cannon uh, because it's kind of like that's just how I like playing assassins, honestly. Like, I, I don't like playing them, you know, kind of this hybrid way of being able to stay alive. I like, you know, what if you're gonna play an assassin, go all in, right? So, I'm going up against Zed, who is another assassin. Um, and you can see how I was playing pretty aggressive early on, and I feel like you can, as a Kali, do that just because you have uh, the Q with your range and, and that sort of thing. Um, but as he hits level 3, you want to start being careful because if he hits his full trade on you, he's going to do a bunch of damage. And he also goes Electrocute. So, you can see there, I dodged... Um, I dodged his full combo there. So, whenever he throws his Shadow out, that's when you want to try to sidestep. Um, I see Lee coming. So, you can see that I had placed this ward down here on the bottom bush. And that's why I was hovering on that side. You always want to play around your vision. And so since Lee Sin came this way, I'm already in a position to, to get out okay. Um, had I been hovering this side, it would have been a different story. So always play around your vision. So you can see, again, playing around um, his shadow. Okay, and then I don't know why he went in on that. Okay, his Q went up. Uh, Decent trade, but again, with his passive, he does more damage when uh, you're below, uh, I think it's half health. Um, so, and he has ignite still, so you gotta be super careful about that. I think a lot of people underestimate that, and that's how they give Zed these early first bloods. And so for me, I try to uh, save my W for when he's going to try to use his combo on me. Because if his combo does take up a lot of energy, so once he uses it, uh, if he wasn't able to use it effectively, that's kind of a, a nice little window for you to trade back with him. So you can see I'm kind of under turret here. Um, but uh, the laning phase can be at least levels 1 through 3, I think, can be a little tough for Akali, depending on the matchup. Uh, it wasn't too bad here, but if I get hit by Zed's poke, that's when uh, it's, he's going to have a lot of pressure in the lane. But that's why I start Doran Shield for that sustain. Healing back up. See, so I'm, you can see that I'm kind of freezing the wave here. So he's using his shadow again. Oh, perfect. I don't know if I'm able to... Yeah, I think I, I get a kill here. He should be dead. Alright. I probably should have ignited him earlier, but I thought I could probably kill him without it. Um, so I had a burn flash, which is unfortunate. Um, I probably didn't have to, but I wanted the kill, so I did. <laughs> 
All right. And this is really risky of me to stay here. Since it's a Lee Sin, he could he easily just Q and kill me. But you know what? I have my W. I'm, I'm going to play a little risky. Because if I can shove that in, it's really good. So he goes right under his turret. He misses that. I get a good back. Um, so for me, it's worth the greed, especially if I still have my W. I do the same thing with Vlad if I have my W, because your W is kind of like your get out of jail free card. So uh, when I have that up, uh, I'm more inclined to sho try to shove out the wave. All right, well, let's see what happened there. It's craziness. Okay, I have my ult up. Let's see what I tried doing. I'm pretty sure I misplay this. Okay, so you can see I'm trying to get out of here because I'm scared of his ult. And I just, I R'd as he W'd back. So I got outplayed and also I suck. So there you have it. He's chasing after the Lee, but honestly, I mean, he's chasing after Zed, but I wish he would have helped me here with the Lee. But I think he ends up getting the kill on onto Zed, so it's whatever. Um... Okay, so Zed is uh, 0 2, but he has more CS than me, six more CS than me. Um, something to keep in mind. But again, this is with Electrocute Akali, you're looking to get kills. Um, so I am more inclined to give up some CS um, if, it, if it means getting a kill. Just remember, if, if it helps you remember, uh, 15 CS is about the same amount of gold as a kill. Um, so if you're down 15 CS and you get a kill, it's pretty much evened out. All right, let's see if I get this kill on Shen. I'm pretty sure I misplay this. My mechanics are terrible. Yep, I get I get taunted, but please tell me. Yep, I'm able to get him still. Okay, thank goodness. Wow. Oof. Mechanics, mechanics. Akali is a mechanical champion, and I am not a mechanical player. But I also love Akali, so sometimes you just got to play what you love. Uh, this is another reason why Akali is so good. Um, it's not necessarily, she does have a lot of killing power, but her mobility is really good. And I think I'll demonstrate that here. So see, Zed almost gets me right here. Look how much damage he does with his one shot. All he has to do really, I think is ult me. And I'm not sure if it's up or not. So I'm trying to get the heck out of dodge. Um, I'm able to do that. He probably didn't have his ult because I honestly think he could have ulted me. Um, so I'm trying to get back in here. I'm, I'm okay with taking this Q because uh, Soraka's here. Look how much damage I did with the Electric Q. Um, I really want to get this. Also, remember your your Shroud gives you movement speed if you're in the Shroud. So sometimes you can use that to help chase, which is what I was trying to do here. But Ezreal's able to get the kill. Um, but again, I am looking for kills. I'm looking to snowball. I want to farm champions. Uh, I also want to get these minions, of course. But... Um, in this case, with this rune setup, with everything you're trying to accomplish, you are uh, supposed to be a damage dealer. Um, the one providing pressure just by being around in the map in the shadows. Uh, so that's what I'm trying to do. We're doing really well, our team is, uh, but my farm is terrible. Um, what I like to do too is if I look at my kills, and like I said, each uh, kill is about 15 uh, CS. So just add the number of kills to your CS score and that kind of uh, can help if anything uh, or at least give you some kind of idea of what, where you're at with gold. I, I like doing that when I'm comparing my, my uh, opponent, seeing how much gold I have compared to them because that's who you're laying against, right? You want to see if you, if you have the gold advantage over them because gold means more items, which means more more uh, power. So I see them going in here, so I want to try to get in here, but they back off. I was hoping they would engage a little more there, but I understand. It's Shen and Katarina, and if you get caught there, that could be really deadly. Um, but I did want to try to make something happen, especially with my ult up. Alright, so I'm just going to catch this. Again, with Akali, such great mobility with your E and R, you can roam lanes really well. Um, oh gosh. This is cringing me that I'm missing so much CS. Uh, Alright, let's see what happens. Alright, Aphilios doesn't see me coming. You're a dead Aphilios. Yeah. You can see I fat fingered my, <laughs> my, my menu bar there. Uh... Anyways, this is really good. Four and one. Uh, CS isn't the greatest, but this is what I'm. This is what I was hoping to accomplish with Electrocute: is roaming the map, getting kills. Um, with the with the Conqueror, uh, you're still with Conqueror Akali. You're still an assassin, obviously, but um, you have a lot more sustain. Um, 
So you're able to really duel much better and sustain fights. Whereas this one, I'm looking for quick bursts, quick quick kills, and then getting out of there with my mobility. Um, all right, I see Lee Sin here. Let's see what I'm trying to do. Yeah, I feel like we could fight this. Um... This is a mistake on my part. You can see I'm trying to utilize my passive, but I shouldn't have run backwards. I should have run forward there. That was a misplay by me. You want to try to utilize your passive, but sometimes it's not worth to run backwards. Sometimes it is, but sometimes it's better to run forward. And sometimes it's better to Q and instantly E. So even though you miss one proc of your passive, um, the E will get will automatically take you out of your circle range. So, so then you can E back in and get them. Um, so, I'm, looks like I'm going in over here. Alright. Uh, yeah. I, I would have gone in on this, but... Um, one, I don't have... The cojones to do it. Plus, I saw Shen's ult coming in. But I probably could have killed one of them there. Probably Zed. If I flashed for it. But I, that wouldn't have been worth it, I don't think. Um, Zed's super low, too. So, this gives me pressure in lane again. Provided nobody else comes comes back to the mid lane. Like Lee Sin. If he doesn't come, then I have pressure in this lane. I have priority. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to back. So he's still up just barely in CS by like 4 CS. But I have the kill lead. Uh, looks like Katarina got a kill bot lane. Zed roamed bot. Um, but I figured it'd be better worth my time to just stay here. Because there's what, three of them? And Zed was staying there, so I figured it's it's better for me to just stay. So you can see I'm pinging Kane to just be careful. Fine, just give it up. Uh, because Jax has a lot of pressure top. I'm able to put pressure on this turret. So the longer he, they can, he can keep them there, the better. Um, and also what makes Akali great is presence of mind. Because once you get kills, too, you get uh, more energy. Which lets you uh, wave clear much better. Because you can just spam your Q. I think I'm able to get this turret. Yeah, I am. Okay. See, so again, um, we lost bot turret, but I think it was still worth. Sometimes it's you got to decide, uh, you know, to just stay in your lane and ping your team, hope hope that they listen. But Jax is just uh, creating a lot of pressure top here. Oh my gosh, I probably die here. You can see that I I ulted out of there because there's no way I was just gonna die. Again, your ult doesn't always have to be offensive. Um, I like using it offensively, but in this case, I couldn't. You can see how I pretty much almost died. But Soraka's here to save me. And... Okay, we were able to get a kill. So am my knight. I think I die. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I don't have Zhonya's or anything, so not much I can do. Um, it looks like I'm working towards it. I probably should have... So, again, it's kind of the trade-off. I probably could have built uh, my Seekers to really negate a lot of the damage that Zed does. But come on now. What fun is that? That would have been the smarter play. <laughs> if I was taking this game seriously, that's probably what I should have done. Here I'm looking for Katarina. And I don't know where she went. Me and Jax are both kind of scratching our heads. Oh, it looks like I get a kill here. This Aphelios, I think, was just tilted. He just kept dying to Jax and then pretty much gave up. You can see I think he just ends up giving here. Giving up. <laughs> He's Oh, he got stunned by the by the Morgana. I mean Soraka E. Alright, so we got a pretty good uh, kill advantage here. Again, accomplishing the goals that I need to. Alright, I wanted that kill, but whatever. <laughs> Whatever. All right, pushing a side lane out, but I'm not looking to stay in the side lane. If I had Conqueror, then that might be the game plan. Uh, conquer with TP or something. Uh, stay in the side lane and push. Um, but I'm looking to just shove this wave and then get, get with my team. Okay. As I say that, it looks like I'm staying bot lane. Um, and I think the reason is just because I see them all here. Nobody's coming to answer this push. And, you know, it's a free turret, so... And they're, they're getting the kills. There's no need for me to roam. Um, so I should get this bot for free. And then again, pushing all the way to their turret. Now I can just back. Um, 
So again, assessing the map, trying to see where everyone is, and then making the best call. You can see now I'm ahead in farm with Zed because Zed hasn't responded. Uh, we're same level, but I have way more gold than him. Um, and so it, by all accounts, I'm beating my opponent, uh, which is what you want to do. It's a team game. And my, you want to do your part in beating your your counterpart, and I think I'm doing that at this point. All right, let's fast forward a little bit. Jax is so strong, um, so I kind of just go in. Doesn't even matter, especially with Soraka too. It just feels so good getting healed up all the time. I kind of play just super reckless. I do have my Zanyas now, so. All right, we got the Katarina there. I still have my Zanya, so I'm not super worried. I also still have my Ignite. So, I am okay with playing around here. Okay. They knew that I was coming around there. It's fine. So, it looks like I'm going to catch this wave. Back. I'm getting a Lich Bane next. And I haven't played a Kali in a while. Lich Bane, I know, it is a good item. It gives you a lot of burst, but you can also swap out and go for something like Morello's or uh, whatever you need uh, at this point. Morello's, I think, is usually good. Uh, but Lich Bane is also really strong. Lich Bane might be better if you're doing split push or Kali, um, just because you can take turrets really fast, but I think it's still okay. Uh, let me know your thoughts on that. I know I know Akali mains have debated this item for a long time. Uh, just because it costs a lot. And, you know, with that money, could you be buying something better spent? And a lot of people really like Morello's as a second or third item. All right, so you can see I'm trying to get the flank here. Um, you kind of also, you want to wait till they go in. So I'm not going in right away. Now that I see them starting to engage, this is when I... So getting the kill onto onto uh, Shen before he can finish his ult. So flashing, uh, that's unfortunate I got kicked. But flashing to get the Q because it slows them. So it's, pr it's pretty worth. Okay. So again, as an assassin, you want to really make sure that you are... Um, Wait, I think I misplay here. I will just watch it. It's fine. I'm, I'm ready to cringe because this is really bad. I think I just go super ham. I have my Zanya, so I'm like, I can do anything I want. See, look at this. Is it? Is it? Yes, I do have the Lee Sin, Lee Syndrome with the Q. I thought I could kill him and then Zanya's, uh, obviously I couldn't. I think if I had too many buttons to press, honestly. Maybe if I had uh, used my Gunblade on him, that would have killed him. Gosh, too many buttons for me to press, honestly. Limit testing. You make a mistake, you make a mechanical failure, limit testing, all right? Pro tip. I think I've said that before. You'll hear me say it again, too. <laughs> Come on, guys. Limit testing. Or lag. That's another really good excuse if you mess up bad. All right, let's see what happens here. I'm probably going to end up dying. I'm in a really good position. Like I, I feel like... Um, I, I like the feel of the Akali Electrocute, or the Electrocute Akali. I said it backwards. Um... I think I get oh this is where I get jabated. So I see Zed. Look at him taking all this mini damage. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm gonna kill him now. Nope. There's a Shen right there. Jabated. And there is also Zed Alt. Uh, there's three of them here. I'm just like, okay, I am super dead. But anyways, I grabbed a lot of their attention, right? So they can do other things. I got jabated. I think I tell them I get jabated. Um, anyways, I think we do end up closing this game. Because look, they're all still here. Jax is super fed. I think they know that it's it's too late for them by this point. So that's pretty much going to be the game. Guys, let me know if you like that commentary. Uh, if you did. If you like this style of gameplay, then let me know. If you prefer the other one where it's live, then let me know that too. Um, but either way, I hope you enjoyed the content. If you do, then don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification button. But until next time, enjoy your climb on the rift. Try not to be too toxic. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.